this western fence lizard is keenly focused on the, the large predator that he sees. That would be me. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to catch him in a very gentle and unintrusive way. So he's focused on me, the big predator, and he doesn't really care that much about this little piece of dental floss that's coming over his... Oh, so now we've, we've caught him. And we're not going to strangle him or anything. I mean, if I did this to you, obviously your neck would break. But he's too light for that. So I can really gently release him. So here's our western fence lizard. And when I first saw it, I was saying he, but this is actually a female. Um, a lot of people call these lizards blue bellies. And this lizard does indeed have a blue belly. Let me show you that. Even females have these bright colors. One thing you can see, she's got a bunch of ticks right behind her head there. Having a lot of western fence lizards around is one of the reasons that we have a very low infection rate of Lyme disease. We only have about 3 to 5% of all the ticks we have of this species of tick carry Lyme disease. And in fact, when a tick takes a blood meal from a western fence lizard, it is inoculated against Lyme disease. So even an infected tick taking a blood meal from a fence lizard then can't go on and pass Lyme disease on to you or a jackrabbit or a wood rat or anything else. All right, now we've got a male western fence lizard, and this guy has more ticks than that last one. You have to wonder how much this is taxing the lizard because, you know, they're all taking the blood out of this guy. But again, all of these ticks are cleansed of Lyme disease for the fact that they took a blood meal from this lizard. And this guy has all this beautiful metallic green and turquoise coloration. So he's really, he's just in full display now. Brilliant blue bordered by black to make it even more visually compelling. He has orange in his uh, axillary region. And his throat, which he can also inflate and deflate to show off, is a brilliant blue. And then the real, the thing that shows us he's a male is this swollen region behind his tail are where his inverted hemipenes are. They're not true penises because they're actually, they don't have an internal duct. But nonetheless, because he mounts his mate from one side, he really has to have equipment on either side. So, now we'll let him go back in, zoop, right back in there.